Yeah, so for some reason the time lapse stopped halfway through, but yeah, I was able to get these bolted in. They're not aligned yet. You know, there's gonna be some slight alignment, which I gotta do later with strings and stuff. Like to get the, you know, there's a little bit of adjustment in these. But yeah, she's all bolted up. She's uh, suspended. No jack, so. Yeah, so that fit up pretty good. It just took a little bit of twisting just to get, you know, it's like just under a little bit of pressure, but went right in, more or less. Uh, so I'm gonna throw it up on blocks now in the front, and then we'll move to the rear and we'll uh, like lift the rear up on blocks. And then I'll be able to get underneath because uh, like right now the rear is on the ground still. So we're gonna be getting the, the whole thing lifted up in blocks. Uh, so like, uh, like these won't be the other wheels that actually go with this. Uh, we just got these just for moving these these parts around. But uh, we're gonna be getting a different set of wheels and tires. Right. So I'm gonna set this thing up on blocks now and get to the next part. Uh, the new subframe is on. She's sitting up on blocks, getting ready to uh, put the rear up as well. And then I'll pull the rear end out and install all that. Uh, so I want to install uh, this stuff all first, get the motor fit and just kind of like get everything mechanically working, you know, before we need, uh, we like do any cosmetic kind of stuff. Okay, so I got some of the front end mocked up. Uh, the engine's just sitting in there. I just wanted to kind of see uh, so I just wanted to see how the transmission fit in the tunnel and kind of get an idea for the motor mounts. Uh, so it's all just kind of mocked up in there right now. She's going to be sitting a little lower because uh, I haven't even adjusted the coilovers or anything yet. So she's sitting up a little high right now. Uh, but the motor's sitting up on wooden blocks. Um, but yeah, I wanted to kind of go over a little bit of this front end. Um, I believe it's a ride tech. Yeah, so my customer got this kit used, so we don't really know exactly what it is. It like came off of a uh, 68 Camaro, I believe. But it's got all Corvette suspension arms and like spindles and brakes and all that stuff. So it looks like it's gonna work really good. Uh, it's already been, already put together and disassembled, so it's kind of like so that's kind of just the way it came. But it's a pretty nice kit. She fit right in there. Um, I just got these kind of just sitting in place right now. Like I haven't drilled any holes or anything like that yet. But yeah, the engine's gonna sit a little bit lower than where it's at right now. Squirrel in my shop, I think. Yeah, so there's a squirrel in the chimney. Uh, I just opened up the fireplace, so she might come flying out of here any second. So, um, yeah, the engine's gonna sit a little bit lower because uh, I gotta get a different oil pan for this. This one's just not quite letting us get down to where we want to go. She's just hanging off the strap right there and off the wooden block, but yeah, I wanted to see what I could get out of it. But the like oil pan sits below the, you know, the bottom of the cross member. So that's no good. Um, what else is there? So, uh, so I got to cut these motor mounts off, the ones that came with. Uh, cause uh, they're just not going to work with the ones that I've got. So I'm going to, I got to whack these off once I pull the motor out. Uh, cause the motor's coming out like almost right away. I just, I just wanted to get it in there just to kind of see 
how she uh, how she fits, and it's gonna go good. Uh, so I measured for the intake manifold, hood clearance, and the headers and all that stuff too. Okay, so you can see where it's bolted up there. I got this cross member here. Uh, which the torque arm will go into for the rear suspension. Um, I've got this uh, transmission cross member. That's not going to work for this transmission. But I just wanted to put it in place. I may use part of it. You know, I may just like cut off the sides and then just uh, uh, make my own part to it. Um, but yeah, this uh, this transmission still got the four wheel drive output on it. It's gonna get converted to uh, two wheel drive, obviously. And I'll probably get rid of the original mount too. You know, everything fits fits real nice so far. There's like just enough clearance nearly everywhere. So that was pretty tight there. It obviously pushed up against the sheet metal floor, but that's okay. You know, the floor is probably just dipped in a little bit there.